Good morning fellow option traders, this is Jeff and today is Friday, May 2nd, 2014. Okay, uh, from announcements yesterday, I took a peek at the jobless claims and it came in worse than expected, but personal income and outlays uh, overall I think uh, were better than expected. Did not look at the rest of the announcements, uh, just kind of like kept an eye on what the market was doing and I was just grinding around um, and moving slightly higher. Okay, so for today we have the um, April unemployment report and factory orders. The unemployment report's coming up at uh, 8.30 before the market. Don't really know how much that's going to affect the market one way or the other. They fudge around with these numbers and overall, in my opinion, they're just becoming more and more meaningless. Okay, so, but here's something that has some meat in it. Over in Asia, we're uh, pretty much mixed at the end of the day there, roughly. And in Europe, we are mostly positive to slightly negative. So a little bit of uh, mixed signals coming from that direction. So I'm going to going to close this. This economic calendar again is just uh, making my fan run like crazy. I don't know why. <clears throat> so I'll just close that, and we don't have so much confusion around here. The futures in the U.S. are looking uh, a little bit positive. Uh, gold has settled down may have hit a temporary bottom and oil is at a hundred dollars per barrel almost on the head so up a little bit overnight both gold and oil and uh, well that's about it I'm going to try to keep today's shorter than yesterday so speaking of yesterday Looking at the A-plus list, um, I had Amazon, Chipotle, F5, Google, and Netflix all as setups, and not a dang one of them came through when I looked at uh, about 3.30, quarter to 4 yesterday. And 20 Deltas, uh, none of them looked good except for TLT, which I added to the position here, and I'll show you. Um... We went to the May 4 expiration and we picked our short at 109. TLT had a nice day. Let's take a quick peek at the chart. Had a very nice day, so we added to that position. So we're sitting now with TLT with the analyze tab. Um, we have $1,700 at risk and 284 for our reward overall on TL. Oops, that's not true. Yeah, I was going to say that's 149 and 849 So we're still sitting at approximately 5 to 1 risk reward on TLT. All right, let's run through the A-plus list, and maybe we'll let you out early today. Okay, Apple's coming down into our target. We're still waiting. I'm not, I'm not sure when this... Oh, here it is. The split's out here. Now it's showing up, which is June 9th, 7 to 1. So you get 7 shares for every one that you own, which is... That's kind of like pumping up the price a little bit here, just in case somebody wants to own a lot of shares. You buy one share of Apple, and you'd have seven after the split. But it would be worth only one-seventh, approximately, what it is now when you buy it. Uh, Amazon. No current position in Amazon. It is in a setup mode. 
So we had it set up on this yesterday and we are still waiting for it to set up. And this is pretty normal. It really is kind of a good thing. Get a good solid retrace here and then we continue on down like we had back here. Of course that was earnings. But we have others like, but this was a solid one too. So you know, you never know, we might have a trend reversal. So you just do not know. But anyway, it's back on the setup list for today. I think that that's like three days in a row. Boeing, we have a, this is a 20 delta, because it's flat. Or it could be a calendar. So we're going to change that one to yellow to indicate that it's a 20 delta and we might be able to you know with this flat um, moving average and consolidated price activity we could actually consider doing a 20 delta here and when the stochastic comes down into the 2030 area doing a 20 delta on the uh, put side the bull put and then we would end up condorizing it so we would have to pick an expiration out here a little bit so we have Boeing for the second day on our 20 Delta list looking like it's ready to pop here so I would pick this expiration out here and then give it a couple days and see if if stochastic comes down here and then I would condorize it this would be a bear call up here and down here would be a bull put and then you'd have an iron condor okay um, Baidu how do we do Baidu okay this is also either a calendar or a you know a 20 delta candidate so that's what I'm doing with this I'm going to change that over to a 20 delta because we just don't have an identifiable trend I'll move it over here and that should make everybody happy but it's not in setup mode yet Celgene we're looking at Celgene out here um, yeah for a 20 Delta let's see what we have marked on our calendar yes we have a setup here for Celgene so noted we're just about right to jump in on that one. Chipotle. Uh, okay, this is looking like a pretty, pretty good solid downtrend. The 20 EMA is separating itself further every day from the 50. Um, and we are setting up here for a normal CSS V2 trade which would be the 50 Delta second day on it Costco ooh we had a failure here so this is no longer valid so Costco is out of the picture for a 50 delta CVX all right we are looks like we are setting up here well we have earnings so we're just gonna take a pass on that did we get results here before market well wow, Friday morning that's unusual DIA okay we had a almost like a doji here Doji meaning a day of indecision, so we just kind of like grinding around. Um, yeah, so it's not really doing anything. This is not really, we have a pretty strong uptrend here. So we are now waiting for a move over here. It's, I'm going to delete all drawings here. I don't know how many are on here. And we'll just put a new one over here. 
Igor. It failed us yesterday. And we have earnings coming up next week. So we're just going to take a pass on that for right now. FedEx. We have something going. Yeah, we're in FedEx. We were in FedEx. You know what? I got out of it yesterday. Um, there was a double red here. So I exited FedEx. I, I think I got about 50% profit, roughly, out of it. So we're out of that one for this week. F5 Networks. Uh, our, our alert did not trigger. Came pretty darn close. But it just was not good enough. Yeah, it wasn't quite good enough. 104.26, two pennies off. <clears throat> so, and uh, that worked to our advantage as well because the MACD did not give us a red. So it's still in setup mode for today. And I'll leave that alert active. Gold. Ooh, that's not good. But it's expiring this week. I did have a bit of an up mode mode move. I can't seem to speak very well this morning. Uh, we don't have any pigs for today. What did I say about gold? Gold is up a tad, so we're probably going to be okay on that one today. So we should be okay. And then we have the covered call. I am going to put an alert on this one right about here. Just to make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. set up on Google for a bear call. Pretty much just cut and paste everything from yesterday. IWM. Uh, this is where we have our rut. That's a, um, a rut play. LinkedIn. Let's talk a little bit about LinkedIn just for a moment. Uh, they had their earnings last night. They kind of, it was mixed bag. Um, they missed on revenue, but their forecast is they like reiterated I guess their forecast so we just don't know where this is going to go today and this could be uh, pretty expensive here at a negative fourteen hundred dollars no negative seven hundred dollars right now 3M and of course I'll report to you you'll know what's happening you can figure it out for yourself too 3M, uh, we didn't quite get down here for a trigger to get in, but we had earnings, so we need to wait to see what's happening with And it looks like it's uh, on a run, so we are throwing a target in down here. And we'll have to wait for that one to stew a bit. Netflix, um, we're in a setup. Priceline. And we have earnings coming up next week. We are in a setup with Priceline. Not going to really do anything today, probably. Remember, I don't always trade on Friday. Uh, I don't like to hold over the weekend on these very short-term 50 Delta trades. So I'm probably going to take a uh, pass on it, but I am going to put it on the list anyway. And the Q's. Ooh, it's getting a little risky here with the cues, so I'm going to throw an alert up here. A Russell, 
uh, doing pretty good with that. I'm assuming that uh, it's going to open flat to slightly up today. So we're looking at, uh, we're in pretty good shape here. So now if we take a look at the one standard deviation which is in here, um, we're now above our short strike and our break even. So we're doing good on that one. Um, looking at the chart, we should be okay. Spiders. Okay, we're in a nice uptrend. We're going to move this. I might have a lot of old drawings on here. Let's move this over to here. And TLT, we're in that pretty good. And this is what it looks like now. So TLT had a very nice day yesterday, probably from uh, Federal Reserve minutes. Tesla. Uh, we are in. Oops. Yes. We are in. And we are um, hanging in there okay with a uh, 50 delta trade from off our CSSV2 indicators. Uh, UNP we're here with a 20 delta trade. Uh, looks like it's coming down. We might be able to condorize this today. So I'm going to put them in there on a 20 delta with a air call. And last but not least, I forgot to mention Visa was also on our list yesterday for a bear call. And uh, I'm not quite ready for prime time yet, but it goes back on the list again anyway. So one of the things that you could do, I guess, is do a 20 delta. Let's take a look. Rather than a 50 delta over the weekend, you could do a 20 delta. And what would that get us? Well, we're looking, say, for instance, on Biza, that would be a bear call. So a 20 delta on Visa would be right here at 210. 210 is up here. Yeah, it has possibilities, but only, of course, if it moves down. We need our hook. So we could, we might be looking at... Um, 10 to 1, which, you know, it's pretty decent credit there. So this is a $5 spread, and we're getting almost 50 cents, so that's pretty close to a 10 to 1. That's not too bad. If we went to, um, $5, we'd get 65, so that's still pretty much a 10 to 1. Actually, that looks a little bit better. I don't know why that's not... Well, 65, no, that's not necessarily any better. $45 for $2.50. That sounds like, that's like a 5 to 1. Pretty close to a 5 to 1. Okay, um, I said I'd let you out early today, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So this is uh, one thing that you can consider if you don't want to do 50 deltas and hold them over the weekend, like I don't. Another thing you might consider is if we get the hook here and we go red, that you go ahead and do a 20 delta, and that's not too bad. And that would be, um, you'd be holding at 210. That'd be up here. And you only have to hang on to that for a week. Or less, depending on how the price moves. If it moves in your favor, there's nothing wrong with getting out early and for a profit. Okay, that's it for today. Everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and happy trading.